Okay. God damn it. You could have, like, told me beforehand, you know? We're multiplying this time. We need more energy. Put the correct batteries in place. Perfect. Let's fucking do this shit. Okay. Let's just do everything by this. Um. Okay, so that's by three. This is actually how I used to do it back in the day. It's just like little by little. Um. Terrific! Now on to ring number two. I really want him to do that one thing where he's like, uh oh, we need to go get some more batteries. Like, which you do usually like at the end of like, after you're done with like a mission of some sort. I usually did it like in a circle. I don't know why. I guess it made it more fun for me. I don't know why. I accidentally just clicked out of the screen. Whoops. Okay. And I like the whole pattern of it too. Wow, that was fast. Now hold on tight. Now back upstairs to foil Polly. Okay, there aren't any mission clues on this floor. Let's go searching on another floor. Okay, what sucks now is that I'm gonna have to go through a whole new, like... Here's a new clue. Great. Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> back at shrink Just let me know if you need any information about my darling specimen. I'm so mean to Botley now. Remember Polly's oh, good! Series? Which choose character? I know, I know. You think Happy trails! If it's the same hint that I got this. Ooh, nice. Back here. Nope, we're launching you. Bye. I don't need your little stupid explanations. I know exactly what to do. Now, just do what I say before my alcohol wears off. I really just should be writing. Like, that's the whole reason why I started drinking in the first place was for me to start writing. I don't know if I said that already or if it's something that I said in Desperate Housewives. Which, um, by the way, if, like, I'll say something in Desperate Housewives about it, then, um, you'll know that this is, um, related. <laughs> that, um, that I recorded, um, Housewives right before recording this. So, it's nice. It's a nice little timeline, I guess. It's a timeline of drinking. Which is a very special little timeline. We're at 700 points. I feel like we should be able to go into the time machine no problem without having to go get any fucking invention points. And I just want to get to the kitchen. I love being in the kitchen. I I feel like the robot's name is Monty. It might not be. I might be completely wrong. But I think the robot's name is Monty and he's always hungry. And we feed him like different portions of like oil. And like not tartar sauce. That's the... That's, I'm pretty sure that's Spongebob. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Botley. I wasn't paying attention. I apologize. Okay. He didn't complain. That's good. I, I don't like complaining robots. I like hearing different things about his robot pals. Like Cosmobot. And he's just like, oh, we didn't get along at first. But, like, now we're fine. And I can't believe he's doing what Polly told him to. It's like, well, no shit. She programmed him to. I'm pretty sure it's easy to program a robot. And I'm actually kind of surprised that, like... If Polly knew that, you know, Bali was, like, this interfering, like, Oh, no, I don't think you should be doing that. Like, why she didn't program him, too? She could have easily done that. Like, she has control. She's just, like, in her father's office, like, chilling and just being, like, a ruler of the Supreme Universe. But seriously, like, why doesn't she think of her consequences? Like, she didn't even think for a second that my dad might be coming home within the next few hours or the next few days. And he's gonna find out that the Statue of Liberty is now the Statue of Licorice. Unless she thinks that he's not going to remember the past, like. Like, I don't know, like, I'm a very, very strict believer and, like, lover of Back to the Future. And the whole, like, oh, like, the space-time continuum thing where the only people who are traveling in time and know what the actual, like, results of time were supposed to be 
Like, no, oh, hey, maybe the Statue of Liberty isn't supposed to be the Statue of Liquor. I should be here something weird. It's my cat licking me. Um. God, it's annoying. Okay. Um. I, I hate when animals lick me, especially dogs. Like, I hate having, like, my hand, like, all soggy and wet. Fun fact, actually, when I wash dishes, I have a really weird way of doing it in that I wash, like, one to four dishes. I stop the water, wipe my hands dry, <laughs> and then restart it. And it's horrible. Probably a waste of water. I don't know, actually. If it's a waste of water or not, because I do, like, stop the water while I'm wiping my hands. But yeah, I just stop it. I hate the feeling of feeling wet. And that's why I don't like it when dogs lick me. I love dogs. I just hate when they lick me. Same with cats. At least, like, the cats have the scratchy tongue. So it's a little bit more dry feeling <laughs> in a weird way, I guess. But yeah, I hate being licked. Can we please get this fucking done? I'm really fucking done. I'm really done with this. I'm kind of wanting to miss on purpose so I can, like, relocate Botley. But yeah, look at Botley wanting to, like, save the world and shit. Like, what a nice robot. It's nice that he has feelings. I would expect a robot to be like, can't not compute. Oh no, Polly. Don't want to. Okay, cake and ice cream for you, Florence Nightingale. I don't know. That's a very poor impersonation of a robot. <laughs> and they're making robots a little bit more realistic nowadays, so fuck, I might have actually possibly offended robots everywhere. I don't know, man. I don't know what the future's gonna bring. Watch, like, in the future, like, robots are gonna be, like, running the world, and here I am upsetting them with my horrible derogatory robot impersonations. Uh, I fucked myself. Oh, well, hopefully I'll be old and wrinkled by then. And, like, I don't know what the internet is anymore. It's this whole new newfangled thing. I don't know. Maybe the internet will never change. I don't know. We'll see, won't we? Hopefully I'll look back at this when I'm 80 and be like, What the hell? We found it. Just pick up the clue and add it to the inventory. And we still have one more to go. Let's see how many points I get. It's at 760 right now. Let's move on. There's no mission clue here. Okay, that gave me 100 points, so hopefully the next game that we play is going to be worth 140 points. Let's do this. Okay, all sensors indicate that Polly hid a mission clue in the robot maze. Hmm, we're back at the maze again. See the box down there? Maybe Polly has put something in there again. <laughs> You're so right, Botley. And this time, it's not gonna be easy. Maybe you and your little friend should just give up now and go play with some of my old baby toys. Okay, so here it is. So I kind of sort of figured it out while I was watching it. So we're gonna go south three, and we're gonna jump south. Wait, what? Oops, no, um, jump south. So, um, jump, so that means we have to go south two. Which also means we have to go west too, which is good. Jump west. And then west one, west two. Okay, let's give this a go. Let's see what happens. Perfect. See, how in the world does Bodley have free thinking with this robot who can only do... West two, west one, jump west, west two, south two, jump south, south three. How in the world did he get independent thinking like that to where he's like, let's save the world. The robot reached its destination and we have our object. Who's laughing now, Polly? Beautiful job. Just pick up the clue and add it to the inventory. Like, where did you learn this defiance, Polly? Fuck, I need to get invention points. This sucks. I hope you're ready for more adventure because we're ready to get into the time machine. Just click on the door and back. Oh, I'm all about that shit. Let's do this. Are we still on like the whole like world revolves around Polly thing? Are we going to go visit Copernicus? I think we are. Unless we already did this, in which case I'm sorry I forgot. I don't want to listen to him talk. I don't want to listen to him talk anymore. Welcome back to the Wheel of Invention. As our current champion, it's your turn to spin the wheel. Just click the on button. 
All right, let's do this. Ugh, I'm out of alcohol. I have one more thing left. Ladies and gentlemen, kids and robots of all ages, it's time to play Hollywood Squares with your telegenic host, me, Monty Monitor. Answer all the questions correctly, and you'll be sent back in time, all expenses paid, to rescue poor Cosmobot. Your first clue is a pork chop. The pork chop will show you what your mission is all about. I love pork chops, <laughs> but I'm not the only one. Pork chops can be found in cuisines all around the world. Pork chops come from which farm animals? Pigs. That's right. Pork chops come from pigs. So does ham and bacon. It's all pork and it comes from pigs. Pigs are the only animals besides humans whose skin can get what painful condition? Sunburn, right? You're right. Hey, pigs get sunburns just like people. Sunburns are caused by overexposure to the powerful rays of the sun. Our sun is actually a star. It's the center of a group of heavenly bodies known as what? Solar system? You did it! Yay! <laughs> Another word for sun is solar. That's why they call it the solar system. Uh-huh. So it seems that Polly sent Cosmobot back to the time in history when the solar system was discovered. But where was that? Wasn't it Poland? Your second clue is a postage stamp, and it will tell you where in the world your mission will take you. Postage stamps are a way to pay for sending letters and packages. Before postage stamps were invented, the person who received a letter had to pay for it, not the person who sent it. Oh, that's the weird. The postage stamp was first invented by an Englishman named Roland Hill. What country did the English inventor of the postage stamp come from? Oh, well, I wonder if he was an Englishman. That's right. Oh, jolly good. <laughs> English people come from England, and England is part of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Now, let's see how good you are at geography. Oh, shit. Great Britain is located on which continent? Europa. Right. Oh, <laughs> Great Britain is in Europe, the second smallest continent on Earth. What country is located in the very center of the continent of Europe? It's Poland, right? Fuck yeah, it's Poland. Correct. Yes. Poland is a large country in the center of Europe. Polish people make delicious pork sausages and dance to a unique style of music called polka. Poland's also the place where the solar system was first discovered. Thanks, Monty. We now know that the solar system was discovered in Poland. What we don't know is when it was discovered and by whom. The third clue is a dollar bill. It will tell you when in history the solar system was discovered. If you had a million dollar bills, you'd be a millionaire. The first kid ever to earn a million dollars was a famous movie star named Shirley Temple. The dollar gets its name from a coin once used in a European country, known for its mountains, castles, beer, and frankfurters. Which country was that? Germany? Wunderbar! In Germany, the coin they call the dollar was made out of a precious metal. Precious metals are metals that are not commonly found on Earth. Which of the following metals is a precious metal? Oh, God. Shit. That's right! Silver is a valuable precious metal that is often used for making coins. Silver was first used to make the German dollar 500 years ago. Which is the earliest year you could have used a German dollar to buy a Frankfurter? Okay, let's see 1986. That's right! In 1531, the silver coin called the dollar could have bought you plenty of German frankfurters. 1531 also happens to be the year when the solar system was discovered. We're almost there. All we need to find out is the person in Poland who discovered the solar system in 1531. 
This is your fourth and final clue. The sundial will tell you who first discovered the solar system. A sundial tells the time as a shadow moves across a surface marked with the hours of the day. The Egyptians invented the sundial 5,000 years ago, and it was one of the earliest ways of measuring time. A sundial works due to the movement of what heavenly body? You are correct! <laughs> Even though the sun creates the shadow that moves across a sundial, it's really the Earth that's moving, not the sun. While the Earth spins, it also moves around the sun. What is the Earth's movement around the sun called? What a revol revolution, right? That's right! <laughs> the Earth revolves around the sun. It takes one year to make one revolution. P.S. Happy New Year. Who discovered that the Earth revolves around the sun? Uh, Copernicus. Right you are. Copernicus was the Polish astronomer who discovered the solar system in 1531. Before his discovery, people thought that everything revolved around the Earth. Okie dokie, we got all the information we need. Now, on to the time machine. We've got to go to Poland in 1531 before Polly messes up Copernicus's discovery. We certainly don't want the Earth to revolve around Polly any more than it already does. Before we take this trip back in time, can I just tell you how amazing I think you are? That said, grab the time key and let's move out. Dude, honestly, Bali is kind of like boyfriend material. This is the reason why I fell in love with him as a kid. Like, the whole, like, before we go further, can I just tell you how amazing you are? That said, let's keep going. Like, that's boyfriend material right there, you guys. I'm just saying, he might be a robot, but he got some heart in there.